Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee, you're watching Bianca Renee today, and today is Foundation Friday. But I'm not gonna be reviewing a new foundation, but I will be putting on foundation in a new way. So I found my new favorite person on Instagram. Her name is Sasha Inspires on Instagram, and she has inspired me to make this video because she created a reel that says, makeup tips I wish I knew sooner. And that includes mixing your foundation and your powder together, then applying it to your face. It also includes not putting any foundation under your eyes because that will create creasing mind blow, and to apply concealer in the new 2020 way. I know, I'll demonstrate. So make sure you guys follow Sasha Inspire. She has a bunch of great makeup tips for beginners like me and possibly like you. But without further ado, let me show you how I got to this look right here. Let's do this very fresh face. I'm gonna clip my hair back so it's out the way. All right. Cool, I'm like 10 years old. Okay, let's attack this shine, shall we? I'm gonna start off with the Il Maquillage Primer. I have been liking this one. I don't really like how it comes out, like the packaging, little nozzle's a little wonky. I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. This is one of my favorite foundations and a crowd favorite for oily skin. If you haven't tried this with oily skin, you're missing out. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand like she did, Ooh. okay. Then we grab the Loa Mercier setting powder. This is the setting powder I've used for years. I'm actually almost running out. Okay, that might be too much, I don't know. Now I'm grabbing my Il Maquillage foundation brush. I'm gonna kinda mix it together. It's making it very thick and creamy. Ooh, okay, here we go. Oh, she said not to put it under your eyes. Look, it almost messed it up already. That did go on very smooth. I'm actually gonna wipe this off from under my eyes because I wanna try her no creasing technique as well. Okay, I like it. It does look very smooth. Let's keep going and now move on to the concealer. So I don't know who's making up the rules, maybe TikTok is, but apparently the whole triangle thing is so 2019 or 2016, I don't even know when it started, but apparently it's not a thing anymore. And the new 2020 way to apply concealer is like so. So one, you don't wanna have any foundation under your eyes, cause it's gonna create creasing, apparently. And then instead of the big old triangle, which wasted a lot of concealer when you think about it, you're just supposed to put a little bit right here and then up to create a more lifted face, since we all wanna get facelifts out here. Right in the corner, and then we lift up. And apparently this is the new way. I don't know if we're doing the little dots here anymore. I don't know if we're going down the nose, but uh, I'm gonna put a little bit, just a little bit. Now, she also blended with a brush, which is something I've never done. I always use a beauty blender, but I'm gonna give it a try today. Wow. It does look like a very smooth blend. And I'm using concealer by Rare Beauty. This is the color 330N. The interesting part is since we mixed our powder with the foundation, we're not supposed to add more powder to set on top because it's kind of already mixed in. But we are allowed to set our concealer with powder. So I'm gonna do that using a beauty sponge. Add a little more. So here's the beginning stages of my face. I'm loving how it looks thus far. My skin does look very smooth and even. So I might have to keep trying this whole little powder trick. I do like applying my concealer with the brush and I like that we're not wasting as much concealer anymore by doing those big old triangles. So, I don't know, does it look lifted? I thought when you blend it out, it kind of does the same thing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. Voila, the finished look. I am very, very happy with how my skin looks. So smooth, so glowy, just like a nice, I don't know, 
It's not like powdery or cakey, even though it did get kind of thick when I did mix the powder. I do know that YouTuber Jackie Ina likes to put on her setting powder on her face and then apply the foundation, but I've never seen mixing the foundation with the setting powder. But either way, it seems like the best thing to do, especially for oily skin, is to not apply the powder last. What do you know? So I'm gonna keep trying this because I love how it applied. I'll post some pictures on Instagram so you guys can see how it looks in photos. I do like the new concealer 2020. Oh, it's not even 2020. I've been saying 2020. It's definitely 2021. That's how far behind I am. So I just had to try this little makeup trick and tip. If you guys know any more Instagram or TikTok hacks, please DM them to me so I can give them a try and possibly try them on my own Instagram or here on YouTube. If you enjoyed this little quick tip, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. Honestly, if you're not following me on Instagram, like I just don't even know what to say to you. Like why? I know you're on there. I know you are. So just go ahead and find me, hit that follow button so we could be friends. Let's take this relationship to the next level. I post new videos here on YouTube once or twice a week, but on Instagram, you get to see me every day. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.